huge question, but I guess this is where they're supposed to go. Oh, this is so where they're supposed to go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a cis het man and I shaved my body a while ago and found that until it mostly grew back, I felt like I was a raw fish lying on ice in a fishmonger's. To what extent is having an unshaven body unattractive to women, as far as you can say? If it means anything, body hair in women is totally not an issue for me at all. I got so annoyed when I got this question. I got annoyed at that last line, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, why? Because I find it like... Okay, uh, imagine you're on a date with someone and they say, Don't worry, being a feminist doesn't bother me at all. Is, I don't think that's what was being implied. I know it wasn't meant. To, I know you were trying to imply that you were like a super cool guy. That like, but it shouldn't be something that people have to say that women's body hair is okay. Why? Well, like, yeah, but we still live in the world. I know we where... live in the world, but it just. I know, but it just annoys me that that is like a, a good guy point, and this is not a critique on you. It's a critique on society that makes that a good guy point because it should yeah. be fucking obvious. Yeah, yeah. I, like I don't like I don't need your. Not you, but your permission to have body. Do you know what I mean? I had a person not 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 go there because of hair. Oh, as did I. Yeah. Fascinating. Uh, fucking bullshit it is, is what it is. Yeah. It's, <laughs> and it's so it's really it really hurts. It mm. really hurts. I mean, they're lost, but if you know the fucking yeah. Lost. yeah. I mean, if you want to literally go there and like shave me, fine. Yeah. I'll do it. Right. You do the labor, not me. You yeah. know how hard it is with the, like the whole fucking angle situation. It's bull. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess you would know because you tried it. All right. So the reason why it annoyed me this question, but like it's it's not that annoyed. I was just like because I love a hairy body. It's absolutely my preferred, and it, it kills me to think that there are some women out there that like insist of of like hairy for for hairlessness. Okay. See, I also like every guy I've ever. Yeah, every guy I've ever hooked up with, not mm, one, have been hairy, and it's been like, whatever, like cool. I'm down with it. I like it. I like doing this on someone's chest and having like it caught in my fingers. It's nice. But I don't. I don't think it's wrong with having a preference. Okay, and this I is double standard. No, I don't think it's wrong with having a preference. And I don't think it's wrong in like asking your partner to fulfill your preference. I think it's wrong in demanding that your partner fulfill your preference. No, but no one's like the man. Like if my boyfriend was like, hey, I wish you shaved your pussy, I'd be like, oh, that's nice, dear, make your cup of tea. And not shave my pussy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Like, so what? So basically, you think for a lady that wants for that to happen for a dude, she, would, she should shave him? I think she could ask if he was up for it, and if he said no, then fucking fine. Well, you said, well, but, but that's, that's the thing. So like, she should like, physically do it herself. Well, yeah, yeah sure, the, way that, the way that we're saying is yeah. that, like, yeah, if you don't like it, fucking get it off of yeah. me, then fine, I don't care. But like, I think that is the only way I would... But then again, this doesn't sound like the person felt comfortable without the hair at all. Well, this is the thing, and you clearly don't want to be hairless, in which case don't be fucking hairless, and... I don't, like, I don't know any women that demand... Do, like, you... Wait, look at... Um, and yeah, and you said something about... So, like, or whatever? No, well, that, but, but in general, like, I mean... We come from a scene, right? We're, and we're still a very niche scene yeah. where these are, sort of things are okay. You look at the you know, GQ magazine, all of the bodies mm -hmm. or whatnot. Like, only recently the whole bear thing is becoming a bit more Also, the gay male scene is very, very um, pressuring you to shave. Yeah, like, in yeah. Quite a, well, unless like, you're a bear, way. right? But bear is normal! Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. So the pressure is there. It's huge. And I completely understand. And I think, yeah, their entire, like, look at all the reality shows, right? Like, I know Love Island, all of what, mm. all of what not. Do you ever see a hair on a, on a, on a man's body? Never. I, 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 I find that, sh I find that absolutely... I don't know, that's yeah. to me that's unattractive. So I get where the, yeah, we get where the, uh, the pressure is coming from. I'm curious as to whether you shave because someone asked you to, or because you were kind of like, felt like it? When I say unattractive, like if someone is naturally mm. not that hairy, like that's absolutely mm -hmm. fine. It's mm -hmm. just more of a like, the, 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 the pretend the time. But I, I also have this kind of, possibly like, mm, sexist, a sexist view, that like, I'm not turned on by guys that spend more time on their aesthetic than me. Like, if, if he takes longer to get ready in the morning than me, that's, like, an issue for me. Which is, like, me, like, possibly buying into, like, a kind of, like, definitely. macho thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's a thing. And so, like, the idea that, like, I have to sit waiting around for my boyfriend to, like, shave his back is just, like, long as fuck. I, like... So, because they like it for themselves, or why? If they like it for them, ah, yeah, kind of both, yeah. It's, like I said, it's a bit sexist, like... Yeah. I just... I'm into people being get up and go. I'm, I'm an anti faffer of, like, a rule, like... I don't know. I like people like I don't know. I don't know. 
I go to fucking tanning beds that no one to talk about. Like, I know <laughs> that's why. I'm, that's that's why I'm like being definitely not being like PC on this. Is that like? It's fine for me to take like half an hour of makeup, but it's not fine for you to take half an hour shaving your back. That's also nonsense. And if I was dating that someone and loved someone yeah. who was wanted to shave the back, I obviously wouldn't care. Yeah. But I just yeah. mean, for me personally, the act of shaving implies a kind of level of. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, not no. Cleaning that I'm not I'm not attracted to personally. But it's the same with like choosing clothes or whatnot. And yeah, no, I think that that is double standard then. Like, yeah, it's no, it, yeah. I, I'm owning that. Like, yeah, that's it is subjective. Double standard. It's like, subjective. Yeah. But I'm just like, yeah, that's my personal thing. But also, yeah, do what, what the fuck about, you What want. about lifting, for instance, right? Yeah, see, I'm not into that. Oh, I love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess like I'm the. I don't know. So it's weird because I like we're stereotypical in different ways. Yeah. I guess, and like I'm stereotypical in terms of like I like them putting an effort, and I'm like you're stereotypical because like I'm you're the lady. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, we're being absolutely fucking rubbish here. <laughs> no, but like That's obviously, a- do what the fuck you want to do with your body, and if a girl likes you, she's really. I mean, I've never cared at all. Like even if someone's like shaved like their, their crotch, and I'm not really into like they don't like my feels my face. I'm still like yeah. I like them. I'm still gonna like suck their dick, you know? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely not do it for me if you feel like a fish. Absolutely. Don't do anything if you feel like a fish, and if you have a fish fetish, in which case, do everything you can to feel like a fish. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. Because, I yeah, I think, I, I think naturally I prefer the, 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 the hairiness. Mm. To me, like, it hurts to think that someone would, like, on purpose try to get rid of it, even if they don't feel... Like, especially if they don't feel com- yes. comfortable sans hair as such. Like, if you don't care either way and your partner wants you to do, then there's no harm, I think. Like... Yeah, yeah. I don't ever feel yeah. pressured. Uh, if someone is uh, insisting, then like, it, I think again, there's a difference between you not caring and 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 also asking them to do it. For instance, okay, so uh, fucking fuck it, I'll be real. Mm-hmm. So yeah, as I said, I've been like told off for my hairiness down there as such, um, and and then I did put an effort for a wee bit and. I would just get chronic cystitis. Well, I just get the fucking disgusting rash that makes me look like a like freshly peeled chicken. And you like, see, it's fucking long. Like yeah. I don't understand how these, yeah, how the people in in yeah, how the how the how the porn stars manage to have it. All. I mean, yeah, I guess it's proper they professional. Work, right? Like I yeah. just shave myself like in the shower without my glasses on. Like yeah, I have never shaved. I trimmed, and even yeah. then, like it's just like yeah, chronic cystitis. Like that. That's it. Like there is a reason why it's fucking protective. I guess. I yeah. Know. So. So yeah, so I would even be like, for mes- medicinal reasons, I'd be like, I can't, I can't do this, you know, it's just absolutely your flank. But also, it's not like you're talking about your whole body, not just your crotch, right? Like your back, or your chest, or your legs, I don't know. It just seems like so much effort, man. Like, I'd literally be like, girl, grow up, man. Yeah. Like, grow up, people have hair. Literally get over it. Sorry. Yeah. And if, like, if they're not into you because of your body hair, then, like, fuck, fuck them. them. Fuck them. Like, I, yeah, I used to date someone that, like, didn't want to go down with me because I had her that, like, there was no way now I would accept that. No way in hell. I would, like, sooner break up with someone. Like, Oh, yeah, easily. yeah. I literally, I straight away, I was like, okay, absolutely, you pack your shit and go now. Yeah. Now. Now. Like, yeah. And needless to say, they apologized for two hours and went down on me. Yeah, because it turns out, you know what, a lot of people just want to get laid more yeah. than they care about the thing they pretend they care about, like, yeah. It's, yeah. And it was nice, actually, one time I went out with someone, so that was my, like, the, the fuck the Tory story, someone, like, really right-wing, um, absolutely stereotypically always only dates models, all of that stuff, and, you know, I was like, mate, I'm pretty hairy, it's gonna be a thing. And he was very gallant and lovely about it, and it was kind of, I think, I had a really good experience, so. I had, I had a very similar story to that when I was in Vienna, um, I, I bumped into this random guy and we got talking in this bar and then we were like making out and stuff and I was like, okay, I, I feel like this is a random dude, he's not about the feminist scene, I should like content know what's going to happen. So I was like, by the way, I just think you should know that I'm the hairiest girl you'll ever have slept with. And he was like, and I was like, mm-hmm. and I was waiting, I was just waiting for him to say something and he went like, oh wow. And I was like, I knew it, I knew it. And he said, no, 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 I just mean, oh wow, we're going to have sex tonight. <laughs> The best way of being proved wrong ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And needless to say, we had sex and it was great, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's also fucking. It is a class issue. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. like, fucking. I don't know. Having the time or the money to do all of that stuff. Because there is definitely a difference in tools. Like, the mini razors are super expensive. Yeah, absolutely. Like, overpriced. So, mm-hmm. and I get mine on eBay, so I get them like twice cheaper and still it fucking burns, like, yeah. burns a hole in my pocket. Yeah. I don't know. 
anyways, so, so, and then laser, which is, I guess, is the least bath, is, like, well expensive, and then, but yeah, but then the worst quality uh, razors that's, uh, that are cheaper will, you know, sometimes re leave you with, like, bad, I know, pain or whatnot. Anyways, so, so yeah, it's also an insistence of a certain, of a certain lifestyle that not everyone can afford, not everyone has the time for, and yeah, call that shit out. Yeah, sure. definitely. Yeah, like, I am, I, I actually really agree with what you're saying, is that in a way it's really even fucking sad and disappointing to receive these sort of questions, where it's just like, wait, it's 2019, like, yeah. people have fucking hair, and some people... Again, for absolutely fine reasons, like they don't, they don't like it. For instance, I don't like my legs hairy. I don't know. See, I don't really care, but like it depends on the outfit. Like if I'm wearing a skirt, I want to have like, like shaved legs. Like if I'm like wearing lipstick and stuff, and if I'm not, if I'm going for like more butch thing, I don't like. I is this it's whole aesthetic? But thing. it's this whole thing as well. Like there was a period in my life in this fucking London left where like. I felt like I'm not good enough. Oh, feminist. I felt pressured into not shaving. Exactly, yeah. I'm not good enough feminist if I if I shave, yeah. right? Like yeah. if I am, yeah. If I'm like if my armpits are shaved or my legs mm -hmm. are shaved, then like what the fuck? But like, mate, like good for you. I'm sorry, this is not at you at all. But like, there are all of the women that have been I don't know implying that to me, or people are just like. I know, platinum and then blonde where it takes them maybe like two weeks to grow one milli yeah. millimeter of invisible hair. <laughs> hey, like, I shave in the morning, in the afternoon I already have like two millimeter stubble. So yeah. like, yeah, this is a lot more work and it's fucking visible and it's that. And it's just like, yeah, anyways. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember going like on this trip where we all, no, none of us shaved our legs, obviously. Cause like, you know, we're all squatters. <laughs> and yeah, like, your first time I was with had like blonde invisible hair on like golden tan legs and I was like pasty Rowan with like a fucking bush growing. And I was like, I'm not even tanning through this. That was the first reason I started shaving my legs. Was like completely, definitely superficial reason, but on a different level is that I wasn't tanning because of my leg hair. And so I shaved like a tan, which yeah. is like, yeah, and then all these people have literally like invisible blonde hair yeah. and like fucking yeah, and then you're <sighs> so it's yeah, something. like it, there's so many the politics of hair is still to this day very fascinating. As as yeah. sad as it is that it's yeah, still it shouldn't a conversation, be. it shouldn't be. But basically, nah, hair is fucking great and fuck anyone. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, right. So I knew I was eventually gonna say that at some point. I'm I'm joking. I am joking. Keep it professional. Keep it professional.